here is my my reasoning. Uh, Earth Alliance is uh, becoming somewhat more uh, xenophobic given the recent elections. Uh, so, but they had, were close. So maybe forty percent of people are uh, against the current government. So what that means is that alien culture is ultimately political. Uh, and a core component of culture is foodstuffs. So I think that uh, buying non foodstuffs for sale to a certain segment of the Earth Alliance will be a uh, hot item. Oh yes, uh, there is uh, uh, there is a seller who is willing to sell you breed for a good price. Okay, this is a uh, non legacy. Gonna, He's a, uh, I'm going to bring in Dugar as a uh, consultant on this. Mm, well, uh, Dugar is uh, currently in Medbay, but he is uh, feeling much better after a couple of uh, bandages and some painkillers. Okay. And he's definitely... And, uh, I'm going to yeah? try this food stuff myself first before purchasing, you know. Like, ah, you want a sample? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, you go uh, with, the, with the salesman who is a nun. Yep. With, with du, Dugar, Dujar at your heels, and you mm -hmm. go and he shows you a sample size of Breen, and uh, it's this uh, ra some uh, green, uh, not not green, green brown balls with some sauce on top of it. Ah, uh, cool. Uh, they are relatively non-perishable in terms of transshipment. Um, Can they be the, frozen? They, they Can are. They be reheated? They, they are frozen for the time spot, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, but th this one is obviously heated for consumption. It's still steaming a little. Okay. Uh, I, can I roll streetwise to get the man on the streets taste for uh, imported non food? So it's foreign, but it's not too foreign, you know. Uh, this uh, this uh, of... is actually an art check. It's an art check. Excellent. I knew, that, I knew this would come in useful. Uh, yeah, look, I think it. Uh, Tastes yes, uh, as fantastic, uh, and it will be very popular. Yes, this this clearly is what it is. There is this, uh, uh, how do you call, how would you call it? Uh, rather, it's a mild taste. The mo most of the taste is in the sauce, but it's soft texture. It's a uh, yeah. mild, silky, smooth. With it's very neat. The foreignness that, that, and richness that we want that lingers on the palate. Yes, it's, it's not very just meaty, meaty taste to the give, give yeah. it, and it's, it's, uh, it, it will work wonders. Wonders for the human palate. It's, exactly. Uh, like, mo most non-food non food seems uh, uh, to foreigners uh, harsh and rough, but, but this is surprisingly soft. Definitely good stuff. Perfect. We'll sell it as like a de an after dinner delicacy, or like a, no, like a with cocktails. It'll be perfect with cocktails. I can see it big on the cocktail circuit, the liberal, uh, 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 the, not the liberal, the pro, the pro alien trading uh, cocktail circuit will love it. It'll be huge, huge. We just need a hype machine behind it. I'll have 10 tons. <laughs> oh. You can only fit five. <laughs> Your cargo bay only fits five, but if you want 10 tons, you'll have to sacrifice some living quarters for it. Look, I don't like it that much. I have, I have, I have two towns. This will be a dry run, but if this goes well, uh, I'm sure the two of us can arrange an exclusive contract. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> He's probably just bought up nearly half the. <laughs> yes, uh, he's asking for five thousand credits per per ton. Absolutely, this will be huge. Ooh. And if we buy in bulk, we'll, we'll, we'll corner the transshipment market, um, so no one else, no one else can get it in the in the interim. Indeed, indeed. He's, uh, he's uh, very I, uh, much impressed with your speech and is willing to do uh, private trades with you in the future as well. I've just got this image. There's like a food shortage on the non home world because of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been holding this in, but I totally see. Um, See Wesley as a character who has never tasted Swedish meatballs in his life, because that is just too common for him. So he has no idea that Breen tastes exactly like Swedish meatballs. 
<laughs> My goodness. How charming but quaint, yet exotic and foreign. <laughs> and they're on, you normally serve them on little sticks, you say. <laughs> charming. <laughs> An unusual custom. <laughs> And could you say sprinkle some caviar on them? Maybe gold dust to give it a little metallic tang. Yes. Just like Plinky says, every race has their own version of Swedish meatballs. However, it does not mean every person, every member of that race has tasted Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Because at a certain level, you do not touch the food of the peasants. I'm Let listening. me show you what I bought on Babylon. Okay, yeah, yeah, what you got here? I crack, I crack open like a container and it's just, it's layer after layer of non-Swedish meatballs. Oh, I, I, I'm just going, I'm going, I, I recognize this, you didn't, please, I, I'm much. I'm telling you, it's going to be huge on the old um, cocktail circuit, it is foreign political and how much of delicious. that did you buy a mere 10 tons so we're going to need to swing by earth before we go on our treasure hunt <sighs> you brought brain oh god the smell i'm not going to get that smell washed out for months I, believe I feel like he should not be in charge of any investments <laughs> the ship makes anyone <laughs> Frasia, uh, how how much money is it going to cost us to deliver this uh, to Earth? Um, about four and a half thousand, maybe five. Five thousand credits. Okay. All right. Wesley, how much profit do you expect to make from the sale of this? Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands is going to be huge. Look. I, okay. And I lay out, I lay out my scheme of like getting influences to hype brain, and then it becomes like an an alien fashion, but also delicious and new and innovative. Because like I to... don't know that meatballs on sticks exist. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. It's like someone being like, we're gonna make an energy drink, and it's gonna have like caffeine, guarana, and variety of health claims, and it's gonna be massive. We'll tie it to extreme sports, and people will love it. It will be a lifestyle drink. People will be nice. like. He's trying to bullshit a bullshitter because <laughs> you know I'm like I used to do this kind of thing for a living, you know, <laughs> before this shadowy bullshit. <laughs> can't, so, isn't the way I can ascertain how much we're actually going to make from these nasty Swedish <laughs> meatballs? <laughs> Wesley, honestly, I feel like this is a a lot of work for a little bit of profit. I mean, sure enough, it's safe work. We deliver it from here to there and bring something back and. I don't know. Is there a roll I can make for that, Wooster? About how much this is going to cost? How much will 10,000 pounds of Swedish meat falls? Of brain? Um, well, it depends how well he can sell the brain for. Okay. But I suppose it's a procure check with intellect or education. Uh, can, can we base this on our expectation of how well uh, Wemsey can do based on this previous selling of things to ourselves and being able to succeed in persuading people. Yeah, the, as you calculate the uh, distance and the time it takes for you to take this load of green towards Earth, he would have to sell it for about 15,000 credits per ton to make a profit. Jesus. Okay. So, as soon as everybody, and this is, okay, First question is, so this is, is this all we have in the cargo? Is this a yeah, mess? Your cargo hold is pretty much full. Cool. the cargo space, okay. man. Okay. I would like to know, as soon as we're out, as soon as we are, all of us are gone and we're about to fly away. Let me know when that happens. Mm. I'm, assuming also, I'm also, I'm assuming by this time our the window was repaired. I remember you got an yeah, estimate. Yeah, you got it into repair duty and it was fixed in post-haste mode. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm just saying, like, you know, as us as a group, when we say, okay, we're out of the cargo area and we're going, we're flying yeah. Ooh, towards yeah. our next destination. Yeah. Um, I want to know when that happens. Yeah. Uh, what is your next destination, by the way? Captain says Earth. Anyone object? Okay. No one. Where uh, is that? In, is that in the direction or the opposite direction of? Uh, um, Earth's in the opposite direction to where we'll be wanting to go if we're going for the fall. You know what? I don't have a problem going with Earth. Why don't we go check out somewhere like India this time, though? Okay. Mm-hmm. Go to Earth. No, towards Earth. Yeah, sure. So, as the others leave the do- uh, cargo bay, get the astrogation running, and jump from the local jump gate, or actually make your own jump point, uh-huh. and start mm-hmm. moving towards Earth, what, what do you do once you're I- in the hyperspace? I just open up the cargo bay door, like as we're like, you know, start to move forward, and it's like all that shit just fall out the fucking <laughs> ship. <laughs> I saw this coming, and I still. <laughs> That's why I wanted to make sure everybody was gone first, and then. <laughs> I was wondering what you were gonna do. I was going to think. Mm. <laughs> Because that way, as soon as we start going Ooh. towards the jump, I can be like, yeah, I dumped all the brains, so we don't need to go to Earth anymore. 